Hey guys, Thunder E here, and guess what I have in-house that just came in? The Galaxy S21 Ultra. So let's go ahead and unbox it and do some gaming. All right, so you've seen everything in the box of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and we know it doesn't have a charger or headphones anymore. They're out this year, but if you pre-order, there's some really cool bundles. You can take advantage to get some really cool stuff with your S21 Ultra. Let us dive into this device. 6.8 inches, comes in a couple of colors. I've got the black, there's also white, and then there's that awesome looking brown, which is a Samsung uh, special. You can get on the Samsung website. This thing packs a ton of features. The brand new Snapdragon 888 processor, which as gamers, we know we want to see that when we're playing our favorite games. Now, I'm going to just mention right now, this is a first look. I have an embargo, so right now I can only show you gameplay. I cannot give you any benchmarks or I cannot also give you any temperatures. That will come in my full review next week, so stay tuned for that. But take a look at what this device does have to offer. 12 gigs of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 up to 512 gigabytes of RAM. There is no micro SD card storage, but you've got 5,000 milliamp batteries in here. Now, the cameras, four cameras, which we'll spend some time on in our camera video, and also supports an S Pen, yes. This display supports an S Pen, which we'll take a look at in another video as well, but it is truly amazing that the, that the Note features are coming to the S21 Ultra. Another cool thing about that display, which we care as gamers, is that it's got adaptive refresh rate up to 120 Hertz. So now you can game at QHD Plus at 120 Hertz. That is truly amazing. Plus, You've also got Dolby Atmos sound for gaming as well. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at two games. Right now it's gonna be PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile on the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Snapdragon 888 processor. Four for the first time! Beast. Gaming looks smooth, it looks really nice. Again, I can't give you benchmarks or anything else. I just got it roughly like an hour ago. So I can't give you a good idea of how it actually performs, but I will do that next week. Let me know two more games to add to my gaming review. I'll be covering PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, which of course you guys wanna see. I'll give you benchmarks, I'll give you temperatures, and we'll talk about some of the other features on this device. The game center also is a little bit improved from what I see. It's a privacy mode. It also monitors your uh, temperatures, letting you know at least if your device is running hot. So that is something cool to see. And on a side note, the fingerprint sensor on this is really, really fast and really responsive. So I'm glad to see those upgrades there. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below on the Galaxy S21 Ultra, what you would like to see with gaming. Stay tuned for uh, my gaming video on the S21, my speaker test, and more videos about the Galaxy S21 series. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and always enjoy your entertainment.